Welcome to Analytics with Nax. This is another video in the Catch Up with Nax series where I'm going to talk about Power BI release October 2024. Without further ado, let's begin. Instead of going all the futures uh, released in this uh, month, I'm going through only the few futures that I have liked most. So, enhance Power BI report creation and using a copilot it is not about uh, manual creation uh, all about a copilot a a is real a is upcoming and um, microsoft is no exception on that and we have um, copilot way to automatically create uh, power bi reports when you give some instructions that is what uh, enhanced features let's see what are the enhancements it has uh, provided Visual calculations now supported uh, by combo charts and field parameters. If you are not aware of visual calculation, visual calculations is all about creating your DAX calculations that is calculated and measured within the visual. visual. You drag and drop a visual, right click a visual, then try to uh, make some formulas within the visual. No need to write DAX. That is all about visual calculations. And now certain charts are not supported uh, by, I mean, certain when you have a certain charts, those charts doesn't support visual calculations. Now these charts, that is combo charts and field parameters also support visual calculations. Then the new list slicer. Uh, this is the future I like uh, as well because it has uh, some slicers and hierarchies. Let's try to see it in uh, uh, next couple of minutes how it looks like. And dynamic format strings for meshes. This is another one I like the most because uh, each currency has to be represented dynamically in different ways. Earlier we have a very difficult way of doing it. Now Microsoft provided a straightforward way. Then Power BI enhance report format that is PBIR file. These are the features I like most in this release. Let's try to check it out. <coughs> what are those? This channel contains a free content that covers SQL, MSBI, Power BI, and fundamentals of Azure. Please share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Let's see what are the features that Microsoft has brought us for us. Yep. So as I said, uh, enhanced um, Power BI report creation with Copilot. So it, it says that increased clarity and contextual awareness. So this is what they enhanced. And um, as usual, the AI part, quick measure suggestions with Copilot to be replaced with Microsoft Fabric Copilot. Meaning like uh, earlier there was a quick uh, measure suggestion which is replaced with the Copilot. I hope when it is replaced with Copilot, you should also need a Copilot. I mean, fabric license, I think. That is what uh, I feel. And um, next is all about visual calculation. As I said, co combo charts are now supported and field parameters are now supported in the visual calculations. Where, uh, as I said earlier, you can write the DAX formulas over in the visual itself. No need to write the DAX. That is what visual calculations is all about. Then moving to the one I like the most, the new list slicer. This is available in the preview. So as everyone aware how to enable a preview feature, you need to go to options, settings, and options again, uh, preview features, list slicer visual. So let me show you quickly. So you can go to option and settings, options, and there will be a preview future. Um, then you need to enable the list. So you can see at the bottom list slicer visual. So once you enable it, maybe this requires a restart. Uh, once you restart the application, the once you restart it, it will start appearing here, right? So this is all about uh, list filter. So how it looks like is a uh, new list laser can become hierarchical. This is very important um, uh, about this uh, slicer. Earlier slicers look awkward and within that uh, drop down it will look uh, hierarchy. But here you can see uh, uh, different ways to um, 
customize that is the whole thing this action will activate additional format settings specific to hierarchical data so each uh, hierarchy you can also customize so these are the different uh, options you can set it over here then one last thing i like the most is like um, uh, all about um, the reports right as i said the way we stored the uh, power bi files is enhanced like power bi enhanced report format pbir along with pab provides a great source control and code development experience due to its folder representation of report definition now what has been enhanced here is like uh, the following features are available for reports using power bi r format so we can publish if you saved your file in a power bi r report um, in from power bi desktop and you can also download power bi x file using power bi r format from the workspace so both are earlier not possible now it is possible so this is what it's all about um, this uh, month i hope you like this video if you like it hit the thumbs up button and if you are new to this channel hit the notification bell icon for notification and do remember that data is your asset